This video is the first in a series where we will go one by one through each of the tables on the Chapel Universal Square to explain exactly how to use each line on each of the various rafter tables. We hope you enjoy. There's lots of information to cover, so let's get right into it, starting with the first line of the equal pitch rafter table. The following is a line-by-line -line description of the equal pitched rafter table. Line number one refers to three aspects of the common rafters for an equal pitched roof system, as follows. 1. The length of common rafter per inch of common run. 2. The difference in length of jack rafters per one inch of spacing. 3. The top cut of jack rafters over one. The data on line one has significance and can be applied to the roof system in more than one way. 2 being length ratios and 1 being an angular ratio. Let's begin by defining the first aspect. Length of common rafter per inch of common run. The numbers listed on this line, below any of the inch markings from 2 to 18, give the ratios of the length of the common rafter per 1 inch of common run for a roof pitch corresponding to the column number in inches over a run of 12 inches. As an example, under the number 18 we find the value listed to be 1.803. The number 18 corresponds to a roof pitch of 18 over 12, being 18 inches of rise for every 12 inches of run. The value in this row specifies the ratio of the rafter run to the rafter length. In the example of an 18 over 12 pitch, this ratio is a constant of 1 to 1.803. This ratio remains true for any conceivable span or rafter run, so long as the common rafter pitch is 18 over 12. As we move down the row we find this ratio changes corresponding to the given inches of rise per foot of run. Multiplying the specified rafter run by 1.803 results in the length of the common rafter for an 18 over 12 pitch. The unit of run can be designated in inches, feet, centimeters, meters or miles and the result will be accurate in that specific unit. Example, assume we have a rafter run of 9 feet and the given pitch is 18 over 12. We have 9 times 1.803 equals 16.227 feet. Multiplying this by 12 will convert the results to inches. 16.227 times 12 is equal to 194.72 inches. If we move down the road to the column under 7, we find the value to be 1.158. The length of a rafter of the same run, 9 feet, with a pitch of 7 over 12 would be 9 times 1.158 is equal to 10.422 feet, converted to inches is equal to 10.422 times 12 equals 125.06 inches. It is best to convert the measure to the smallest working scale with which you will be working at the outset, so as to prevent multiple conversions. This can lead to inadvertent errors. When working in feet, it is best to use inches. When working in meters it is best to make all calculations in millimeters. Factor 2. The difference in length of jack rafters per 1 inch of spacing. The second aspect of line 1 relates to the difference in length of the jack rafters per 1 inch, or any unit of spacing, along the plate. By using the base factor of 1, 1 inch, 1 foot, 1 centimeter, 1 meter, the universal square allows one to quickly determine spacing to length ratios for any spacing circumstance. Example. Using the same factor in the example for a common pitch of 18 over 12, let's say we have a rafter spacing of 30 inches on center from the corner of the building. This puts the first jack at 30 inches, the second at 60, etc. Let's also say there will be a header placed at 93.5 inches. We can find all these lengths using this factor. The value in the column under 18 is 1.803. The length of the two jacks would be as follows. Jack number 1. 30 times 1.803 is equal to 54.09 inches. Jack number 2, 60 times 1.803 is equal to 108.18 inches. As we see, the first jack is exactly half the length of the second, therefore the difference in length of the jacks at 30 inch spacing for this pitch is 54.09 inches. To find the length of the special rafter at 93.5 inches from zero, we have 93.5 times 1.803 is equal to 168.58 inches. Using this approach, one can find the length of any jack rafter for any roof pitch from 2 to 18 over 12, and for any combination of special spacings, 
with only the chapel square, a pencil, and a scrap piece of wood. Factor 3 The top cut of jack rafter over one inch. A jack rafter is a rafter in the common pitch that intersects the hip or valley rafter short of its full length. This may be from the plate to the hip or valley, or from the hip or valley to the ridge. The angle of intersection is in accordance with the angle of the common rafter to the hip or valley rafter in the included roof plane. The top cut of the jack rafter is therefore in direct relationship to the included roof angles, being the angle of intersection of the jacks to the hip or valley rafter. This is determined and can be visualized as the right triangle created by the common rafter, hip or valley rafter and the top plate, or ridge beam, in the case of a valley system. This is commonly known as the sheeting or sheathing angle in general carpentry parlance. The values given in the first line of the equal pitched rafter tables on the front body of the universal square specify the angular ratio of this angle to any unit of one. We find that the first value in the column under the 14 inch mark is 1.537. The angle is therefore in the ratio of 1 to 1.537. To mark the layout angle of the jack rafter using the universal square, Simply move the decimal point over one place to the right and use this opposite 10 on the tongue of the square. In this case, the jack rafter top cut angle can be marked on the timber by using 15.37 on the body and 10 on the tongue. Marking along the body of the square, in this case, will designate the top cut angle of the jack rafter. A point of note. The ratios in this example work regardless of which side of the square is used as the constant 10. It is often necessary to change the constant of 10 to a greater number in order to better utilize the depth and breadth of the square. In this case, simply multiply the chosen number by this ratio and use the results as the location opposite the constant. The underlying kernel of geometry and math required to arrive at the factors as expressed on the chapel square are quite complex to be sure. The beauty of the chapel square is that it makes this information present, available, and readily accessible to apply directly to your next challenging roof system, leaving you free to visualize your next project with the assurance that the Chapel Square will have your back. We hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to keep a lookout for more to come. By subscribing, you will be apprised of all upcoming videos in this series.